When are we ever going to use this in real life? <laughs> I love, I love, I love that question. It's um, one of my favorites because it gives me the opportunity to remind my students that although they're right, they're likely never going to have a pop quiz in real life where someone asks them to identify the plot and main characters of Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. Admittedly, they will get fewer of the jokes on Family Guy without that knowledge. However, what I really want them to understand is that, yes, we're using Of Mice and Men and some other classic literature to try and teach them skills. What I am focused on, what the goal is, is actually the skills themselves. The kind of skills my kids are working on are things like critical thinking, asking them to identify something in a text and articulate their opinions about that thing, whether it be a symbol or a theme, and their ability to communicate that is a skill that's going to transfer into whatever they do after they leave my classroom and go out into the real world. Their ability to collaborate and communicate what they want with other people is a skill they will need in the real world. And if there's something that they hate hearing from teachers like me is, what are you planning to do after you graduate high school? <laughs> and I don't blame them for that. That's fair. I hated that question too, because when I was in high school, I had no clue. When I graduated, I knew I was maybe going to go to a community college. It wasn't until I was at that community college that I really started to get a good idea of what I wanted to do in real life. And so for my students who haven't really started considering what options there are out there, especially my freshmen and sophomores, I get the opportunity to not only help them learn critical thinking and collaboration skills, I also get to help them start to look at options. I get to point them towards trade schools, military options, college options. And one of the things that I think they struggle with the most, especially when it comes to options regarding college, is how they are going to make something like that work especially if they're the first one in their family that has ever had to go to college and figure all of that kind of stuff out. Maybe their family is a family of trades or military. So the idea of college is something that other people do, which is also why I try and introduce texts in my classroom of people who are from similar cultures, of people who maybe look like them, sound like them, have similar experiences who did things like go to college or join the military or do a trade so they can see all of the different routes that they could take as a potential for their lives. But as I'm helping them navigate all of this, I try and give them all the resources I can for them to use those critical thinking skills and point them towards whatever option it is that they wanna pursue in their lives. And the Student Research Foundation has really awesome resources for my students and resources for me as an educator. They have articles on some of the more recent things and trends in education so I can stay on top of that stuff. They also have resources for students and parents and possibly most importantly in my students' minds, they have scholarships available for the students. And it's really cool to have the opportunity to work with my students to help them build that critical thinking and to be able to connect them with the resources they need that can help them build a future that they would love. Like the ones with Student Research Foundation who partnered with me to bring you this video.